New Supra is destined to be a coupe as it once was, while new Z4 is set to be roadster as it has always been. We all went berserk when Toyota introduced the FT1 concept in 2014, hinting future Supra's styling. We also knew that concept was a bit exaggerated for street use and that it had to be tamed. Spy shots reveal how much it was domesticated and it seems a lot. Still, we are far from nagging as Nose seems to recall the latest generation of its predecessor, turning us a bit nostalgic. And we don't mind at all, those added huge bumper intakes. Plus, strongly flared rear hunches along with ducktail shaped backside, traveled directly from the alluring concept. In short, it looks promising, for now. The cabin was left out from the discussion as Test Mule featured one full of BMW bits and pieces, just in case you were wondering. There is no anything official on the engine lineup, but we are expecting of Japanese to defend Ancestor's glorious reputation. Allegedly new Super should be propelled with twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6, debuted with latest LS boosting 415 horsepower and 442 pounds to foot of torque there. The hybrid powertrain is also in the game, yet this one is not going to be about the number of MPG available. One rumor even suggested that Handsome Coop could be treated by Gazoo, which sounds way hotter than in Yaris's case. Besides that, you should probably expect small turbocharged four-cylinder version as an entry point to the Super World. I meant Supra. New 2019 Toyota Super could debut during 2018. Price. Maybe a realm of $40.000 for a start or in line with Audi's TT. That would also be way above the stuff like Mustang, Camaro or Challenger, yet undercutting by huge margin things like Corvette, Cayman or F-Type. Still, if somebody decides to go for that promising twin-turbo V6, Super just might enter very dangerous price territory. Toyota beware.